Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. Today we are going to talk about this piece of equipment. So uh, this is uh, AM2320 uh, uh, moisture and temperature detector. Uh, it's uh, out of the box. I just uh, open it. Uh, this is uh, brand new. And you have a temperature and moisture uh, sensor already with PCB and these uh, four jumper wires, female to female. And now we are going to use uh, our uh, ESP8266 microcontroller in order to connect it. I'm just going to show you one other thing. As you see, we have four pins, plus, minus, SDA and SCL. So uh, our sensor uh, uses serial communication. So now I'm going to use some wires and I'm going to connect to D5 and D6 that I'm going to use for serial communication, these two pins, and I'm going to connect it to 5 volts and to the ground, like this. Now let me check. First we have a yellow wire for 5 volts. Be very careful because you could easily hurt yourself like this. Let's see, uh, ground it's brown. Let's check this one. SDA it's orange. And I'm going to use D5 for SDA and there is only one left. I'm just going to connect it. Okay, like this. So guys, that's all about connecting. In the next part of our tutorial, we are going to deal with the code. Okay, so first thing that we have to do, uh, we have to include one library. And if you don't have that library installed, please do so. So I'm going to use code include and library name is am2320.0 like this now we need uh, to create uh, object uh, of the same type so am2320 let's call it sensor like this and now we are going to initialize serial communication serial begin with baud rate 9600 so you could freely use any other settings I'm just comfortable with this one and I'm going to initialize sensor now we have to provide uh, two arguments and first argument is going to be pin uh, for SDA and another for uh, SCL so I'm going to use D5 and D6 that's fine now we are going to void loop and we are going to use if statement sensor measure its name of the function opens curly brackets so when you call sensor measure if returns true that means that our measuring is successful so we could do something with it and I'm just going to print those values to my serial monitor print let's say temp column space and now print ln and in order to get temperature we are going to use our sensor and function get temperature like this I'm going to copy these two lines and we are going to use them for moisture put everything in line change this to moisture or humidity or any other word you want to use and instead of get temperature we are going to call 
get humidity like this uh, so that's all about success but now we are going to write code about what is going to happen if we are unsuccessful so if sensor measure returns false I'm going to use else in here of course squarely brackets made some space in here and first thing that we are going to do we are going to check for error code it's integer error sensor get error code like this and now if error it's one we actually have to check uh, for uh, two codes one and two and if it's one i'm going to print text sensor it's offline else if error it's two we are going to print another statement because there is another error about c r c validation error okay and now i'm just going to make pause between two executions let's say two seconds it's totally fine save it now i'm going to upload this piece of code okay i'm going to try it again this could happen from time to time now it's everything fine we are uploading Okay, and now I'm going to open my serial monitor. Let's see what we have. So temperature is uh, 28.7 and moisture is uh, 50.30. So guys, that is all for this episode. In next episode, I'm going to explain how to uh, connect this uh, sensor to ESP32 microcontroller because there is uh, some difference between these two. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.